Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. To replace the clutch slider gear components in this Whirlpool top load washer, you will need a T30 Torx bit, a flathead screwdriver, channel lock pliers, and a small awl. Before you begin the procedure, unplug the appliance's power cord and shut off the incoming water supply. Unthread the hot and cold water supply hoses from the inlet valve ports. Be prepared for some water to spill. Use the channel lock pliers to release the spring clamp so you can detach the drain hose from the outlet port. Now have an assistant help you to move the washer away from the wall and tip the appliance back so its rear panel rests on a towel or blanket. Insert the flathead screwdriver into an inner hole of the rotor to hold it in place as you use the T30 Torx bit to unthread the rotor mounting screw counterclockwise. Pull the rotor free. Because of the permanent magnets in the rotor, this may require some effort. Insert the small awl between the slider gear teeth to release the spring retainer. With the retainer released, you can pull off the old spring and slider gear. You're now ready to install the new clutch slider gear components. With the teeth facing outward, slide the slider gear over the drive assembly shaft. Align the spring, then secure the spring with the retainer. You can use the awl to seat the retainer. Reinstall the rotor by aligning it over the stator, keeping your fingers away from the underside of the rotor. Thread the mounting screw clockwise and secure the rotor with the flathead screwdriver as you tighten the screw. Return the washer to its upright position and move the appliance back against the wall. Reattach the drain hose to the outlet port, securing it with the clamp. Attach the hot and cold water supply hoses to the appropriate inlet valve ports. Turn the water supply back on. Plug the appliance's power cord back in and the washer should be ready for use.